Alrighty, guys. Uh, ladies and gentle cars, this is the last of uh, last car in the Lightning McQueen Day Month Marathon. Um, as you see here, uh, in the, if you watched the last video, you uh, I didn't I just teased that. Oh, you're gonna have to watch this video, and here it is. This car. Um, this is probably gonna be my favorite out of the entire four car. Um, quadrilogy. Um, yeah. So this this one's I'm very excited for. I have a version of this um at my house in Phoenix. So if you want to go there, it's just AIDS. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna tell you my address. What am I? Um, but I have like a bigger version of of this car. Um, yeah. So as you see here. This is the fabulous Lightning McQueen, obviously paying homage to his mentor, his Uguay, Master Uguay like mentor, Doc Hudson. Obviously. The fabulous Hudson Hornet. As you know. Uh the Madel Madel will uh still forget what that one is. Sorry, there was a sound outside. So this is uh as we went in chronological order, we had uh we had Lightning with Cone. Then we had uh, this Abomination from Cars 2. And then we had this one from Cars 3. Um, obviously, Dirty Boy. And so, there they are. I'll put those off to the side here. And so this one's also from Cars 3. Obviously, this is not four Cars films. Um, I could have done a Mater's Tall Tale car, I suppose. Uh, I do actually... I have acquired one recently. Um... But uh, I'm not going to open that because that's actually big boy money and I got it for super cheap. So I'm not opening that, uh, unfortunately, for you guys and for me because I would like to open it. Anyway, here we are. You see him here uh, with the rest of the pack. I'm not sure who the rest of these guys are by name. There's a next-gen racer and they look stupid. Anyway, yeah, so let's open this bad boy up, shall we? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. This is the last card. You don't understand. There we go. When in doubt, uh, use a non-felt pen. The pen is mightier than the sword. A little Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade for you there. So this is the car, and holy Toledo, this feels nice. Let me compare it with the one that I... Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel like this is the lightest one out of all of them. This one has the most... This one feels the heaviest, which is odd because it's the skinniest if you watch the that uh, collectible review. Yeah, this feels like the lightest, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because definitely, you definitely tell. So let's see how this boy drives. Oh yeah, he drives pretty well. Pretty well with a little skirt skirt. Uh, here he is for you guys to see. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, see, 95s. It says Lightning McQueen right there. The camera will focus. Oh, 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 I think it's focusing. Yeah. So, fabulous Lightning McQueen. It says Lightning McQueen on top. Lightning McQueen on top as well. Oh, it says Lightning McQueen on top of these. How did I not notice that? Oh, I never noticed that detail. Uh, so, I apologize. If you heard that, that was my roommate's dog. Uh, Rusties. I like the Rusties. It looks real nice. It looks real classic. Oh, and he's still got his little ka -chow! His little, little markers there. All right, Pepper. Wait a. This is this is supposed to be an exciting occasion. You know what? I ah, forget it. Um. So yeah, he looks very nice. Here's here's his undercarriage here. And uh, I like the tires. Obviously red, just like uh, the rest of them. For Doc Hudson. Oh, now that is nice. Oh my goodness, man. That's gonna. I'm gonna shed a tear. You know. Just. They mean a lot, man. I put it together, man. 
Anyway. Uh, and he's got the little uh, thing that Doc had on the side of his cars. Um, on the side of his car. Uh, to pay homage. So that's very nice. That's very sweet lining. And this is a very nice car, man. Um, out of out of all, oh, let's actually compare the, their size. He looks a little skinnier. I'm not sure. I think I think he's the same size as this car in terms of if they're they're bigger or not. I don't, um, there they are. I think he's the same as here, maybe a little rounder, but. But yeah, so that's 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 strange, because uh, this is lightning, uh, at his oldest. Uh, well, I guess these two are the oldest, but in reality, I think this one's the older one because this one appeared earlier in the film and this one appears at the very end. Um, but yeah, uh, he seems a little lighter, uh, both uh physically and um, well, his looks physically as well. But uh, yeah, I love. I love the little, his, you know, there's his gas tank with a 95 on the side. That's pretty sick. Does that have that for these as well? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, all right. So that's pretty cool. I like that 95 detail. Yeah, this is a really nice car. Um, out of all of them, my favorite is probably... Not you. Get that out of here. Embarrassment. Um, not you, obviously. Um, it's a really nice car, though. Um... I'm not sure, man. Put down in the comments below uh, which are one's your favorite. I'm pr honestly, I'd probably still say Lightning with Cullen, man. I just really love the feel of this car. I really love the feel of this car. Let me get this out of here. I assume she's disgusting. Um, that framing was disgusting. Um, I just there's so much life in his eyes. There's so much story to tell in these eyes. I just man, I, I say that and I just drop them. Drop him like it's hot, man. Um, yeah, it's just... I don't know. I like the original Rusty's logo. I love the 95 on the top rather than the 4, I'm, if I'm being honest. I don't like the... I'm not in love with the, the 4s on the... The 495s. But, um, yeah. So, I'd probably say this is my favorite from the first one. It's awesome. This one's really good, too. And, uh... Honestly, I'd probably say this one drives the best out of all the cars. Uh, let me give you a little trivia here. So this Lightning McQueen, so Lightning McQueen sports five distinct looks in Cars 3, including one that pays homage to his original paint, a primer uh, look he gets following the devastating crash, a custom wrap ordered by Sterling, and more. Um, and the artist designed and built eight racetracks for the film. The Los Angeles International Speedway, which of course is where Lightning... Uh, Raced in that three uh, Ray tie race to decide who got the Piston Cup in his rookie year. Um, then the Copper Canyon Speedway in Arizona. Then the Heartland Motor Speedway in Iowa. Then the Motor Speedway of South of the South, sorry. Then Thunder Hollow Dirt Track. And then Thomasville Speedway. Georgia Super Speedway. And then Florida International Super Speedway. And the dramatic slow motion crash scene in which Lightning McQueen hits a wall and rolls over takes 24 seconds. Um, yeah, so there's some little fun facts about Cars 3 because this is a Cars 3 car. And there are... Uh, uh, I'm just looking at these other other ones here. Cruz Ramirez is a key character with a compelling and emotional story. Eh, I'm not reading that. That's garbage. She's not. Cars 3 gets dirty. Really dirty. And it turns out dirt, particularly mud, isn't easy to get right in an animated feature. Um, not too thick, not too thin, which was important because mud splatters, dust, sand, and sacred dirt appear in 616 shots. Holy Toledo. Um, oh, here we go. Lightning McQueen still sports the dynamic 95 with his, cus with his signature lightning bolt graphics. The design of those graphics is a hybrid of his look from the 2006's cars and his look in the 2011's cars too. Is that, was that this lightning or was this, I'm assuming it was either this lightning or the one he, he raced in um, 
in the in the actual races. I have no way of confirming. I don't I don't have that car, unfortunately. Man, I don't think yeah, I don't think I have that car at all in my collection at home. Um I'm gonna have to bring those up uh one day and maybe review some of them. Um but this isn't farewell. This is not farewell. <gasps> I know. Um I have another car. I'm not gonna open that uh lightning that I have from a Mater's Tall Tale from Lion I'm Crying. Um and I'm which I'm not, so I was crying earlier, but I wasn't lying. Um, but I'm not going to open that car because, like I said, uh, I found it for like $45 and I got it uh, for dummy, dummy less than that. So I'm not going to open that car. But I do have another car. And he, I forgot his name, but he's a pretty cool car, pretty unique. I, I had been eyeing him for a while. Um, let me put these in order. But uh, yeah, so this isn't goodbye. And if I do see another car that I like um, at the stores, I will get it. Like I said, we have an Instagram, uh, Pixar Cars Fan Club, PC FC Flag on Instagram. Uh, I don't know how to put the link, so you can find it yourself. My roommate did it um, on the comment section, but I'm not, I'm not technologically literate um, when it comes to stuff like that. What do you want, Pepper? Are you hungry? Well, I'm reviewing a car here, so I can't feed you. Anyway, she's not my dog, so don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so this is not goodbye. And uh, just a little disclaimer to, I'm calling out the Flagstaff Toys R Us. Nope. I'm, just, I'm, I, I'm saying that because I want a Toys R Us. But what I actually mean is, I'm calling out the uh, Flagstaff Walmarts. The Flagstaff Targets. Those are the only two places I know that sell cars toys. Besides collectibles. Um, sorry. Um, I guess Walmart does too. Safeway doesn't. I already checked. But I, I haven't checked Bashes. But, um, just a disclaimer. Uh, I saw this comment. This I saw an Instagram account um, that also shared the same sentiment. Just like uh, me, for real, for real. Um, that... He was not loving his store's Walmart, neither am I, because their car section are filled with non-cars, Disney Pixar cars, cars. They're filled with these, 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 I don't even know what you call them, these excuses, these phony cars, they're carts. I don't need carts in my car section. These Mario Kart carts, they, they look cute, they're pretty, but I'm not spending Four or seven bucks for them. Four or seven, four to seven bucks for them. There's no way. I'd rather spend three or four dollars. I'd rather waste my money on Disney Pixar's cars collectibles instead of some Mario Kart thing where I can just play the game. Um, but yeah, there's my little rant there. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry to end the video on a little bit of a downer. And I don't mean to bring that negativity into your guys' lives. So let me just tell you that... Um, what I learned this week in school. Memory is pretty fragile. Uh, eyewitness testimonies are garbage, yet they still use them, despite multiple scientific studies and proof that they don't exist or they don't work. And just remember that memory is really fragile. So the next time your friend or your, your mom, your, your loved one, your close one, next time they f forget about something very important to you and you say, oh, how can you forget? Just be, just remember to be nice and be, and just to understand that memory is fragile and everyone just wants to be loved. And yeah, everyone's, everyone is loved and everyone just wants to be loved. So, so just, just forget, just take it easy on them and, and just forgive them a little easier and a little more because memory is fragile and we're all in this world just to make it, just to be happy and to, to, To be a, to just to just to feel part of a community, to feel loved, to be to be part of a tribe. All right, uh, I'm gonna end the video. Um, sorry if that sounded weird. The end. But this is the Lightning McQueen Disney. Oh, sorry, the Lightning McQueen Day month long. Um. Uh, month long. Uh, thingamajig. I don't know what the hell. I'm, I forgot what it was called. But yeah, so this was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't subscribe, like I said. I got 21. I'm trying to keep it on that nice line there. 
And yeah, I shall see you guys next time. Ka-chao!